Hi Chad, my name is Christina. I was talking to Carly a couple hours ago about getting this video over on some things that you can do with your website in order to set your company above the competition. So we're going to talk about three things, content, citations, and backlinks. And everything that I go over in this video are things you can do yourself. Um, all I ask is if you wouldn't mind just giving me some feedback on the video, I sent a lot of these out and I just want to make sure that I'm not wasting anybody's time and that you guys are getting good content out of it. So. Jumping right into it, content. The average site needs 1,000 to 1,500 words in order to be optimized with Google. And currently, you guys have like less than 200. And so that would be my first suggestion, is you want to get at least that 1,000 to 1,500 words on your homepage, because that's where a majority of your backlinks are going to be coming to. Um, so your number one competitors, when I did a search for, I went ahead and did a search first in your area. Um, there wasn't any like regular searches for um, for uh, Moundville, um, but I looked at the next biggest city and it looks like Tuscaloosa. And so if you look here, well, this is one keyword that people are searching, modular homes, Tuscalo Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and that's getting 70 searches a month. You see this right below here. So that's 70 potential customers that you guys are missing out on by not being in the top three here and then the top three on the first page of Google. So I'm going to show you how to beat them out. The first thing that I did is I pulled up Clayton Northport, and you can see how they have a little bit more content, not a whole lot. I realize that a lot of times when people are selling something like you guys are, then a lot of times pictures and these uh, for sales are going to be like more prominent. But um, that's definitely what I would do is if you got that thousand words on your homepage, then that could be enough to get you up to the top because... Content is king in Google's eyes, and that's what they're looking for. And they really want to make it easy for them to say, okay, if I'm looking for modular homes, Tuscaloosa, Tuscaloosa Alabama, I want to point to this website. Uh, so the next thing that I want to talk about are citations. So here is the Google Map Pack. This is where you have a Google My Business where it lists your name, phone number, and address if you want to put it on there. Um, you can rank for Tuscaloosa even though you're not right here in Tuscaloosa. And the way you do that is by getting citations. And what a citation is, is when you submit your information, your business name, address, and phone number into directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, City Star, Thumbtack, etc. And you'll notice you don't have to be number one, two, and three down here to be one, two, and three up here. See Regional Homes snuck in there. Okay. So what you do is, what I would recommend is just do a Google search of all three of these businesses with their phone number and see where they're getting listed under their citations. So look for the different directories. There are thousands out there that you can go and get. And then if you see like Timberline Homes of Tuscaloosa has 40, you need to go after 80 or 120 citations because you don't want to beat them by a little bit and you want to blow them out of the water. And this, this goes into play for any keywords. So you see like I have more over here on the side, like Manufactured Homes, Alabama, that gets 1,300 searches a month. And this is how it would work. And if you're anywhere within a few hour drive, probably two hours max, honestly, um, you can get ranked on the map pack, even if you're not necessarily right in the heart of Tuscaloosa. So uh, it might take more citations because you're not right in Tuscaloosa, but there are thousands of free ones out there. It's just time consuming, but it's really easy to do is just go get yourself listed. Just make sure that your information that you put on there matches your GMB exactly. And then the last thing that I want to talk about are backlinks. So what a backlink is, we call it link juice, and it simply works like site A points to site B. Site A is the link juice, which gives Site B more authority in Google's eyes, almost like a popularity contest. So you can have more sites coming in, but there's a little more to it than that. You want to make sure that they're relevant, and that's going to bring a lot more power and authority to your site than something that is, um, that's not relevant to what you guys do. For example, a blog post about manufactured homes, you know, maybe like, um, I don't know, like why it would be better to get a manufactured home, maybe there's like tax credits or something out there, I have no idea. But any kind of blog post that has to do with manufactured homes is going to bring you a lot more power than like, let's say, a blog about pizza, because you guys don't sling pizzas for a living. So this tool I'm going to show you called Arefs, A-H-R-E-F-S dot com. Uh, it's a little over $100 a month, but anybody can go out there and get a subscription to it. it really gives a good breakdown of what your website's doing for you. And you guys currently are sitting at 37 referring domains with 159 backlinks. Now, you want this to be closer to a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, you only get power from the website, from the referring domain, one time. 
So it sounds like it's better to have a bunch more backlinks, but really in all, all reality, good quality backlinks are only going to give you, you know, one or a couple backlinks from the website, and really it's only going to give you that power one time. So you guys have this much. Um, I went ahead and pulled up Clayton North import, and you see how they're closer to that one-to-one -one ratio, and they're ranked higher. So that's why. Um, it just means that they have more rele uh, relevant links coming into them that are, you know, higher higher quality, and they have links that are more specific to the kind of services that you guys offer. So these are, like, you have more, but what I would do is just go in here and click on the links that they have and figure out where are they getting their backlinks from, and then go after those same ones. You just reach out to the website and say, hey, how do I get a backlink from your site to point to mine? And they'll let you know. Uh, sometimes it costs money, sometimes it's free. You just kind of have to, to do the work to find out. So again, it's really easy. Like I said, it's just time consuming. So in, in uh, conclusion, we talked about content, getting that thousand words on your front page, and then citations getting listed on different directories so you can take up the map pack as well. And then backlinks is what's going to help you rank organically, and you want to make sure that they're relevant to what you guys do. If you have any more questions about this, you can absolutely give me a call. My name is Christina. I'm with KC Phoenix SEO, 816-323-4100. Um, or if this is just something you feel like you don't have the time to mess with and you're looking for some help with it, I'd love to put a plan together for you. Thanks for watching my video.